and we are live. I hope everybody is doing very well today. Today we are back once again with our Whiz Kids miniature market giveaway and all the other great things that we do. So uh, I think the most important thing is just to make sure that everybody can hear and see me. If you let me know, that'd be great just to make sure we're up and going. And then we're going to get going with a little something special. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to show you guys a little bit of a movie to get you where I am right now. Um, I, because of what I want to do with this guy, it, I don't want it to turn into a two and a half hour video. So um, we wanted to make sure that we got our wash on and this, that, and the other, and some of the other things that we want to do. Fizz, how are you, my friend? Uh, can you hear us over in Twitch world? If you just give us an okay, we'll be ready to go. Um, and I think everybody says, hello, video sounding good as well. Here says Miss Helen. Um, okay, we're good on both fronts. Okay, well, 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 well. Let's see here. Uh, you know something? Because I don't know. We're going to do something real quick here. Just give me a second, and then I'm going to walk you guys through a few things, and then we will get going here. Um, I did come on a little early, but, hey, that's what I do. I do stuff. Um, let's do that. Do that. And paste and send. And I don't care if there's a subject. Helen, if you get it and you can come on, come on. If you can't, you can't. All right. Her and I have not been hitting on all cylinders lately. And that's not necessarily her fault or my fault. That's just one of those things, folks. Oh, what the heck am I trying to do here? Okay. There we go. Full screen. And where it should be off and running. All right. So. Let's do this. Um, oh, um, <laughs> let's get you caught up with what we're going to be doing. All right. Uh, we're going to come over here, and I'm going to walk you through some things. And there we go. All right. So there is this tree, dude, okay, that we have. And what I'm going to do is I really want to darken him up. Now, I see him as something that's been around for about a billion years and stuff like that. So, you know, when I think of old trees, I think of old gray trees. Sorry about that. I was just testing something. Now, you see, it's a beautiful model. I'm going to take this uniform gray, and I am going to do it. First of all, we're going to say hi to everybody. Hey, Martha, Serial Hero, Steph, Pedro, what's up? New Troll, Moon Doggy, Man of Action. Always good to have the Man of Action here. Rowan, how are you? All right. You can see I'm just getting that on there. And I, I want to get this thing totally covered in this gray. Okay? And I know what you're saying. But trees aren't gray. Yeah, old trees kind of turn gray, green, and brown. It's really... You're going to see where we're going to go with this. I have a few things in mind. And I really want to make this something different so i'm going to show you a couple things i want to thank everybody for popping over on uh on twitch thank you so much martha how are you ryan how are you good to see you oh look who's here look who's here we're gonna to have to add her in can you hear me i can oh i can hear you that's good i missed you i missed you too it's been so I know. long i feel like it's been like ages well you haven't felt well i know just know that, you know, I'm always worried about you. So I'm over there just talking myself, talk to myself, basically. I'm going to take some dark tone, Helen. <laughs> and what I'm going to do with the dark tone is I really want this gray to be super dark. You know where I'm going, going with this, right? Yep. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, yeah. Gotta and, and spooky. I mean, it's a tree. Ant, moon right? doggy, would you normally fill the gaps from assembly. Well, all the WizKid stuff comes pre-built and all together. They're all molded together. Now, you see that, that that plastic piece there, folks? 
I use those things. Once I take the figure out of it, instead of wasting one of my nice trays and get them all dirty, I just kind of use some of the spaces in there. I try to use everything I can. And I'm just going to get that in there. I'm going to, I really want this dude to be, I really want to get this, this wash into the recesses. And you're going to see what I'm talking about in a minute. All right. Come on, Rob. There you go. And I, I've, you know what the problem is? I filmed it while I was talking. I, I was going to just, I was going to try to get everything ready. And what I, look, look at me, I'm talking. You are <laughs> talking. Yeah. All right. There it is. I really got that on there the way I wanted to get it on there. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. See how, see how all that, that, that washes in the recesses. Mm -hmm. I really wanted it in there. And you see that little rock there? You're supposed to put that rock in his hand. I don't want that rock there. Bray Dragon, how are you? All right, look, I'm just talking about really bringing in the recess, and we're going to build all the way outwards, and we are going to do some things. I'm going to show you a couple things, but I'm also going to walk you through some other things. And I'm talking about the – he has some of these mushrooms on his roots, which are really, really cool. Oh, neat. And yeah, that's why I wanted to do um, that dark wash. And I really wanted this so dark. And you're going to see why. Because the way we're going to be able to bring this out is a certain way. And I'm pretty excited about it. How about you, Helen? I'm always excited. I mean. <laughs> and look, I'm moving my hands. Just pure excitement there. You can tell I, can tell I filmed this the other day, along with about nine other thousand things that Alan yeah, you're totally had to take up care. When you were filming, I can tell. Yeah, yeah. Anne, how are you, you wonderful woman? You, we're always happy to have Anne here. She's like one of my favorites, and she, she did that quickly. Um, anachrony the other day it was great. Oh, look at this! Look at this! That's what they want you to paint them as. It looks like garbage. It it kind of looks like um, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but it looks a tree it looks, crossed up with like a Sasquatch. It just looked like somebody painted brown and gave him a white beard, and that's it. Okay, so that's that's it for that. Let's let's go over and talk to Helen for a second while I get everything else <laughs> set up. Helen, oh my yes. God, I I've the last couple of weeks I've had to do this by myself, and it's not not easy. I'm sorry. No, no. What I'm I'm saying is, is that I really miss you. I, you Aww. know how much I miss you, and I always were. I, you know, I, yeah. I always, I, I, I worry about you about as much as I worry about anybody in my family. Between, I was gonna say between between your hands and and my <laughs> system, we've had yeah. issues. Yeah, we've 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 really had some headaches, but you know something, we'll get through it together because we will. we're we're a team here, and then, hey, uh, and, and we've got our community to support us. So exactly, exactly. So, with that said, hey, why don't why don't we paint this tree? And uh, by the way, folks, uh, just a quick update. Um, I I've been in constant contact with our dear friends at Miniature Market, and um, Wave Twelve will be in time. Okay, so um, we've got the tree this week, and then we've got the shambling bounds next week, and then we go into the five figures. You can find all those five figures on Miniature Market. They're going to be posting that. Now, let me just go a little farther, and I'll, I'll, I'll say this at the end. And, Helen, if you could just follow up while I'm painting and okay. just make sure everybody knows. We are working on something right now because a lot of people have asked, hey, what paints do I need to paint this? Well, we're trying to work something out with Army Painter and Miniature Market to – uh, provide a paint kit for you at a discount for watching this channel. Ooh. Okay. And that's going to help you. That's going to give you all the colors that you're going to need. What was that? Uh, my phone apparently. I was <laughs> not expecting an invite to stream. Well, that, Helen's so. back, folks. <laughs> Normally I'm good at that. But, you I'm know, in the middle. It's been so long I forgot how to do this. I know, I know. But uh, the main thing here is, is that we are going to be putting something together and there'll be a special code that you can only get here. And once you put that in, you'll be able to get those paint sets. Okay. And then you'll have enough paint and I'll refer to those paint sets to paint everything that we do going forward. Cool. We will be painting the entire series 12. And then after that, who knows? 
Cool. Okay. Uh, we are. Oh, yeah. We have been asked to do it by uh, Whiz Kids, and we are just going to keep going Neat. until we can goes no more. Speaking so, of, we need to get Miniature Market to update your like special page because they haven't done that in a while. My special who? The the page that has all of the paints and the figures and stuff on it. Uh, they're do they're doing it this week. I already I just okay. got all that information to them. We took care of everything, so oh, we'll good, be able to. Do it. I link it every time in the description for all y'all. So, right, I know. Keep up, woman I'm of the people. It. I'm woman of it. the people. Okay, <laughs> let's get the painting. Let's stop horsing around here. All right, we got Helen back, so this should go a lot smoother than usual. All right, there you go, Helen. I'm going to concentrate on painting. You can't right. concentrate on the chat if there's a I question. Uh, just feed it to me, and as always. All right, so here he is, all right? I mean, he's, I got, you know, I really got that wash in there. And I went a lot heavier with a wash than you normally would. But that's okay. That's all right. I'm okay with that. Now, the first thing, normally I would try to take care of these mushrooms, but I'm not going to do that. All right? We're going to take a ash gray, okay? Or if you have a celestial gray from citadel or if you have vallejo you can use a sky gray any one of these three will do the job i mean of course we want you to use army painter because uh, there are pals um and what i need you what we're going to do is i'm going to get a whole bunch of this stuff on here uh, i think i'm going to use a little bit of this celeste gray to start all right and I, I just want this, I want to get this on here, on this brush, okay, and then take it off. Because we're going right into heavy dry brushing, right off the bat. First of all, this rock is driving me insane. I'm going to put it, I'm going to just glue it right there, there, rock. There you go. There you go. And all I want and to do. see is that to change the model to fit, see? Yep. Yeah, the thing I want to do here is I'm going to want to get in just very lightly. Just go all over my man. And there's, there's like a reason for this. A pun, like, there's like a pun contest going on in the comments. Be glad you're not reading them. I'm not reading it. I don't got time. <laughs> I don't got time. Ha knock yourselves out. It, all right. Yeah. And, <laughs> okay, let's talk Blood Bowl. I like it. <laughs> all right. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to completely dry brush my man here. And I really want to get his beard here. And I'm really not worried about how much I get on this beard because this beard's got to stand out. It really does. And Dan, Dan? huh? Yeah, Dan Uzo is in the house. He says, oh. "Good afternoon. Hope all are well." I still blame Dan for making me get Dungeon Universalis. Oh dear. Yeah, that's still that's still a bad taste in my mouth. Oh well. <laughs> It happens so. though. Right. It was. It looked amazing. Sure. Okay. So again, <laughs> the walls were indecipherable. <laughs> it's not even that. Once you figured them out, and the game just slowed down to a crawl, uh, yeah. uh, and then they got ticked at me because I didn't care for it, and I just wanted to walk away from it, but they didn't know. They didn't want to let that happen. Oh, oh boo. But I'll tell you this much. Uh, Lance, uh, Rob tends to give you uh, uh, paint in the in all three lines, Vallejo, Army Painter, and Citadel. Uh, I believe you're working with a – are you working with an Army Painter or an, a uh, Citadel? Right uh, I'm actually using a Citadel right this second. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move over to an Army Painter in a minute. Yep. Um, so uh, I'm actually – trying something and i don't want to confuse everybody because see, see the thing is i wanted to do this three different ways and i should have brought in another one but i did not shame on me uh say love you love you yeah that's the way it happens that's the way it happens and i'm just gonna pour a little come on get in okay there we go and I, I really like using these stupid containers. That way I don't have to wash anything afterwards. I just chuck it out. Oh, yeah. That's that's actually a, one of the best the, the better, the better best tips I've gotten. Well, you, you could put water in here and yeah. then just rinse out your brush. You don't have to use your fancy schmancy thing. All right. 
There we go. That's exactly what I want to do. And I want to get this in here, but I didn't like the Citadel. I wanted to try the Citadel. It did not work for me. So I'm going to go with the Army Painter as I should have. Dan agreed that huge letdown on Dungeon Universalis. Yep. I don't even want. I don't even want to talk to him. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Um. And it, oh yeah, see that's a lot better, and it's going to be a lot quicker. All right. And all. And by the way, we are in 1080p for the first time because uh, Streamyard now go, does things in 1080p. So we're not in 720 like we used to be. Ooh, that explains why things are so much crisper. Yes. So going forward, I am a big StreamYard fan. I don't like Zoom. I okay. yeah, I've been loving on StreamYard. I mean, we love StreamYard as a as, as a and we were so right. upset. Yeah, and we were afraid to do games on it, and now we have no excuse. Thank so you, now, StreamYard, for for up in your game. Well, I mean, it was tough to do these painting sessions. Even I mean, uh -huh. we, we loved having the community and painting with us, and things like that. But it was just it was so hard because we couldn't see what you were working on when. Yeah, but today's the first day that they actually went uh, 1080p, and as you can see, it seems to be working out a oh, lot. Oh, it's making better. a huge difference. And uh, honestly, uh, how's it look, Moon Doggy? Moon Doggy's Chromecasting to the TV. How's it look in in uh, large format? There you go. Lar I'm in large format today, folks. So going forward, we'll be able to do more that we want to do on the channel, of course. Um, and boy, do we have some things planned. As a matter of fact, uh, if you got a few minutes afterwards, Miss Helen, I'd like to talk to you. You betcha. All right, because we have not had a chance. Well, we talked on the phone a few times. We've, very we've had we've had we've had uh, we've had an opportunity brief. just to kind of yeah touch base, not really yeah. much more. It was more, hey, how you feeling? Yeah. Are your hands um, going to survive this week? Yes. Well, Are you going uh, to survive this week? I've been more worried about you than my hands, so I'm not gonna for those lie. of you who who are well, I love how you worried. deflect. I know. For those of you who have followed along, I'm a breast cancer survivor, and I've been having some issues with not cancer. Not cancer, but some issues with post-surgical uh, scarring and things. So we've been seeing a bunch of doctors trying to figure out what we can do to get my pain level reduced. So, because there are some days I can't even talk to you. No, there I, there are some days that I that being vertical is challenging. So yeah, and then I just know. Okay, wait, wait her out. She'll come. She comes when she comes. If you started with a base of brown rather than gray, would you dry brush with a lighter brown? Yes, but I wouldn't want to do that. Trees, trees are funny because go go outside and look at a tree. And here's the thing. It, the, the blueprint is always there for you. Okay. Nature gives you a blueprint and you just don't realize it. Yeah. When you start painting and you start using all these different colors, you're going to go outside. Just go outside once. All right? Go look at your grass. Go look at a tree. Go look at a flower. Go look at, at, at anything that that is substantial around and just look how light hits it and things like that. And then start attributing it to paint. Oh, you know what? I got that color paint. Look at the look at the grass. Look how green it is, but look look at the little bits of yellow in it. Look at this you start to see the world differently. And I, I, it's something I, 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 I take as a blessing because I love going out and, you know, when I take my pups out or something like that, and I just look up in the sky. You know, if you're not feeling good, if you're not having a good day or emotionally you just feel stressed or something, go outside and just stare up at the blue sky. That's all you got to do. Just, just take my word for this, okay? Trust me on this one. For once, just trust me. Go up, look at the blue sky, just look, and within within three or four minutes, you're going to feel better. There's some kind of property about the sky. I don't know what it is. I wish I could tell you. But somebody had told me that one time, and I tried it. And I, 
every time I start to feel a little eh, or I've had enough of this or that or so forth and so on, I go up and I look at that sky. And you'll be surprised at how much just looking at that blue sky makes a difference. Don't look in the sun. I'm not asking you to look in the sun. Presuming you have blue sky to look at. We've had an awful lot of gray days. All right. Before. Well, you know, so look up at the gray sky. Sometimes that doesn't hurt either. Right. Um, look at my old man here. Something else. You, uh, we did have another question. Uh, sure. What, what type of uh, What type of fur... I'm going to put quotes in that. Do you use in your brushes? What kind of bristles? Um, I, I've been, I use everything from camel hair to nylon. Uh, it really depends. Like these brushes here, these are cheap $7 package brushes that I get from Hobby Lobby. Uh, they're fine touch. I, I really enjoy them. And I can ruin these and not worry about it. I buy them by, by the dozens. And because, I mean, look, look, look what I'm painting here. They need to give when you're you a dry volume brushing. discount, seriously. What's that? <laughs> you need the volume discount on those. Yeah. Uh, Hobby Lobby, if you're watching. No, they're not. Um, but honestly, what I try to do is I, I, I get these. I don't mind ruining them. I can use them over and over again. Because look, look at half the stuff I paint. I mean, look at all the nooks mm -hmm. and crannies on this. You're going to ruin this brush. Okay. And and do you want to ruin a, a you know, $15 brush, $20 brush? Nah. That's why dry I use brushing, nice. If you're going to dry brushes. brush, never use a good brush. That that's kind of rule number one. Don't use good brushes for dry brushing. That's yes, not right, worth let's it. Get under um, here. Thank you to everybody who's sending thoughts and prayers. I appreciate it so very much. You have no idea. Um, one of the things that I find can be helpful, just you know, kind of that studying your world kind of thing. Um, there's like. If you if you look online, you can take like a picture and it'll like pull out pick colors from it. Find a good close up picture of like mm -hmm. bark. Of and what? Run that, of like bark, tree bark, yeah. and run it through there and and see what uh, I mean. They're gonna match up and pull out unique colors out of that. And, and you're gonna see it and you're gonna it feel it and then you're gonna understand the layers. Yeah. yeah, you see, you see. When you look at a tree, you see brown, but when, you know, when a computer looks at a tree, it actually looks at the individual pictures or pixels and kind of goes, oh, look, this is gray and this is black and this is maybe a, a weird grayish and this part is actually brown, you know, so you'll get, and then you can look, take those colors and then look in your, in your, um, in your paint set and see what you can, how you can do that. Oh, I forgot a color here. Hold on. Is it oh, here? no. Anything but that. Uh, just white. Oh, okay. All right. I want to take the white. slightest touch of white. Now, listen to me. We're going to do a lot of different things with this because we're just not going to make this gray and this, that, one, the other. The the one thing I want to show you is that we're, well, I'll, when I get to it, I get yeah. too ahead of myself. Yeah. yeah. Get, yeah we're I still on too... white here. We're still on white here. Huh? Yeah. I know. We're white in here. Come, we're white. On. Come on. Okay. There we go. A little bit of white. All, right, all I want to do with this is I don't care if it goes on to the gray. I'm not worried about it. I don't care if it darkens <laughs> it up a little. Small circle on the chat. Yeah, it's been a while. We've just had life has happened. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. And I've had to go solo, and I don't like talking about it because, first of all, it bothers me to begin with. So I just wait for Helen to come on and say what she has to say. <laughs> as silly as that sounds i'm here i know you're and, always and for those of you that wonder i will be here rob and i have reached an accord i will be here till the bitter end <sighs> till the bitter end she said now with this i really just i really want to concentrate more on this beard i want to go really kind of heavier here mm-hmm all right, but the rest of him, I, there's just certain areas I want to pull a little bit white onto this, and there's a reason for that. There's a reason for what I'm doing here. So you're like, geez, Rob, you, you're making this really. Do you ever do anything without a reason? I mean. Uh, yes. Okay, just checking. Annoy the wife. There's a reason for that. Is there a reason? <laughs> uh, the poor queen. A poor queen. She has to she stuck with you. Yeah. We were just talking about that yesterday. 
Who else can you annoy like that? Uh, I said, I said, well, kid, we've been married this many years. Yeah, because our anniversary is in a week or so. Oh my goodness! And I said, Happy almost anniversary then. Uh, and I said, you know, there's nothing we could really do for each other this year. And she says, that's all right. And it was kind of a big, it's a kind of a big one too. So I just said, you know, she goes, we'll make it up some point. And I go, yeah, we will. I'm not going anywhere. She goes, either am I. I go, well, that's a shocker. Okay. <laughs> I thought you'd be out of here, son. <laughs> eh, we made it. Eh, there eh, we go. We made it. All right. So now that I've got this kind of where I want to. Let's talk a little bit, and uh, I really want this white to kind of dry, so I'm going to give it a few minutes, and we're going to deal with that. Let's clean off this brush. I think the queen's home. She's been watching. Uh, oh, Arsenal wins the FA Cup, Rob. I don't even want to talk about it. But they're not doing well in the uh, the Arena League. Ooh. Oh, what, what a week we've got planned for the Arena League, if you are a Sabutio fan. <laughs> Helen, have you watched any of those? I've watched a couple. They're fun. Really? Yeah. I know. Shocking. I watched something. Come on. It happens once in a while. The One of the things, the uh, uh, Martha wondered just quickly, Martha wondered um, what your thoughts on maybe painting it up kind of a birch, uh, white with maybe some thin brown lines. Martha, stay with me. You have no idea what I got going. Oh, what? he may be a you there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You never know. Okay, so we're going to take some skeleton bone, or you can use some yushabi bone. Whatever you, which are, whatever fits your fancy. Both of them are very, very, very good paints. Okay, and all we're going to do here is I want to get some of these mushrooms. All right. Oop. I got these mushrooms here. Can, can you see this, Helen? Um, or do I need to... We can see you're doing something tiny. That's about it. All right. Why don't we do this? Let's see how much better this Ooh. is. Is that better? Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. That's mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. insane. All right. So all yeah. I want to do is get that paint on there. And my only comment, I guess I'm looking at it going, my only thought on the birch is if you look at kind of the the you got to stay the, with me here. But if you, you look gotta. at kind of the bark pattern, birches tend to be more smooth. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it could look cool, but I don't know. That, I don't know. This is, this is, I had an arborist for an uncle, so. I've got something in my head and we're going to go with it. And you guys could let me know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it doesn't work because there are times that I do things and it doesn't work. But then again, there's sometimes I do things and you go, oh, hey. I'm, I'm going to go with anything hey. is better than gray plastic. Yes. Or, or that, white plastic as it started. That's true. It started as white plastic. Yeah. So these mushrooms are like really cool. I really like, I really like what WizKids doing. This is why WizKids is becoming like one of my favorite. I, I, I mean, the things that I can do with all their, wonderful wonderful things that they've come out they've come out with that that um uh the dungeon which is is just absolutely beautiful that was cool i uh, i ended up getting three more sets of that oh wow and uh i i have a bot i if i actually replaced a lot of stuff that i had and i went yeah this stuff is great and you know they have all those treasures and stuff like that uh, and uh, a matter of fact, I have something to show you guys uh, this week. You're going to want to come to RPG World. And Helen, why don't you stick your head? Can you, can you make it uh, 7 o'clock? Tuesday? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Uh, join Jonah and I. Yeah. You just have to make sure, I just have to make sure I have something in the crock pot, which I can do. <laughs> what? Tuesday night is my night to make dinner. Come on. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So I just want to hit yeah. this. <laughs> Uncle Arborist needs to be a new animated show. Yes, my nephews would be on, like, coming to wake me up in the morning, telling me, it's educational. We can watch it. Hmm. All right. So we, we ended up oh. getting these nice little mushrooms in here. You, you don't need that much to. Like a new, um, that sounds like a good gaming jury. Uh, the WizKids Dungeon versus Dungeons and Lasers. 
Well, uh, matter of fact, you're going to want to tune in to RPG World this week. I think you're really going to like what we're going to do. Martha says she liked the look of Dungeons and Lasers better. So, well, we're 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 really going to dive into Dungeons and Lasers. I think you're really going to like it. Well, I want to show it off to Miss Jana. Ooh. And maybe me. John's, if I what's remember. that? If I, yeah, remember, if you can this, remember. Maybe me if I remember. All right. The next thing that we want to do is this is where we kind of start bringing the color of my man out. All right. I've got two different shades here. I've got a strong tone, which is a brown tone. Okay. And then I have a military sh shader, which is a nice dark green tone. Okay. okay. So what am I going to do with this? This is where we're going to build the different types of, because he's not dead. All right. I wanted the white to sit up there for a bit. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to do was kind of start kind of shading and adding different tones in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like those mushrooms need to dry. Now let's talk about what we want to do with the rest of him. Okay. There was a couple of ways that you can do this. Okay. We're going to be using some flocking here. You could either make it, Hey, there's green around them and this, that, and the other. You know, not everything is dead around this old tree. We'll get to that. Or you can get yourself some snow base and make it winter time, maybe. You know, maybe that fits something that, you know, for a frost grave or something like that. So, you know, use your imagination and how you see things, how you see it. You got to go with how you see it. That's what I say. Absolutely. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. We got, Keep we it got here, folks. the whole series 12 coming up of the Wiz Kids figures. Mm -hmm. Now, the we one thing I want to make sure. Oh, go ahead. We're working on a special subscriber deal with Army Painter and Miniature Market. So yeah, we're always up to something. Yeah. All right, I, I want to get. I want to take a little bit more of that white. I'm just not done with it yet. Hold um, on. Are what still available, Martha? What's that? Martha asked if something was still available. I'm not sure. I quite understood what she's asking. So just asking for clarification there. Oh, Dungeons and Lasers. Uh, you can go to DungeonsandLasers.com. I believe it is, and you can pick that stuff up. It really is tremendous. I, I was I, shocked at how good it is. I do believe I. I, I I, uh, not, I stuck a, a link in the description of that video. So you probably did. If I didn't, my apologies. I just see something. I just didn't. I want to make sure I get it here. And just being a little too conservative with my brush. I hate when I do that. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, if you the the link to their site, uh, Martha is actually in the description of that video. So go check that out, and uh, hopefully that'll help you out. No, yeah, there you go. That's what we do. I'm trying to help a sister out. All right. I, tr I try and make it easy for y'all. Yeah, we're the ones that make it hard for ourselves. <laughs> All right, all right. I, I'm I'm happy with that for now. All Sweet. right, there we go. Okay, let's clear our brush. Clean, your... clean, clean. All right. Uh, Wiz clicks or some name to it. It's like Dungeon in a Box. Yeah, you know something. I ended up buying a total of four sets, and I ended up with more Dungeon than I thought, and it really works. Mm-hmm. You know, it just took care of everything I needed. And a miniature market, yeah, four sets was like 350 something like that. But, geez, that's three board games for crying out loud. Well, and considering how much it takes to, like, you know, the, the custom or, you know, so yeah. many things, that's, that's honestly quite affordable. If you are going for a customizable dungeon, 3D dungeon solution. Yes. If you're going for a thingamabobber. If you're going for that thing. If you're doing that, then you, no, that's what you want to do. All right. So we're going to start. Let's let that dry a little bit. I'm going to take some of the green tone here. 
and this is just something I have in my head. This I don't want to really kind of, all I want to do is just kind of hit some of these higher areas. See what that just did? Hold on here. Let me show you what's going on here. Ooh. You see what that just did? He's got like moss on his tush. Yeah, he's got a little moss. He's got tushy moss. <laughs> moss a mossy Does tush. he need some cream for that? This kid's watching, <laughs> right? So now it's it, it doesn't have that totally dead feel to him, but I only want to do that in certain areas. I don't want it to overtake the model, even though it's really kind of cool and everything like that. We don't want to hit that beard. And as you can see, I'm just looking and just finding little areas to pop that in. And it just gives that little bit of something different. Can everybody see that? In 1080p? I know. Like Moondoggy, how's it look? All right, right. Don't hit that beard, Rob. Don't hit that beard. Don't hit that beard. But if you do hit the beard, you got it's the It's all right. Thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's called, hey, you can fix it. Yeah. And that's what we do here. All right. Exactly. And just, just a little bit here and there. Up around his feet, a little bit in his hands. All right. So you see where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking about taking brown paint. Sure. And then lighter brown paint. And then this. No, 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 no. You put a nice neutral base that you can now add colors yeah. on top of. Now you good. could play, you could play and do whatever mm -hmm. you want to do. Although I think it might be a little tricky to get a birch out of that still. No, you're not going to. Listen, we're not here to go birch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So not going to work quite for what Martha was. The mm -hmm. thing, but you uh, know what? Maybe if, this here can, up in there. There's certainly a way to do it. There sure is. And if All you right. do do it, make sure, make sure you send, you send a picture. Yeah, make sure you send a picture to Helen. Yeah. All right. One of these years, we're going to get around to doing our community showcase video. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. So now I've got a little bit of that green working in there. See how that's working? Okay. That's Ooh. fine. That's cool and dandy. I'm, I'm fine with that, right? Not overdone. Are we done? No, we're never done. Does the whiz kid, does whiz kids make a giant woodpecker for this guy to fight? I don't know, but if he yes. does, please let yes. us know. Oh, Rob says he does. Yes, they have he... a giant woodpecker, and we're going to be painting him next week. Oh, dear. Hodor. Next, we're going to take a strong uh, strong tone or a brown wash, a very dark brown wash. Okay? And guess what? That's where we're going to get... Well, he's not totally green or mossy, but he also has a little bit of brown in there. Hey, irrigator. Good to see you. Okay, so we can just we can even go over the areas that, that we went. So you have this, and what we really want to go over is the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. see, see, you get because mushrooms are just not tan. No, okay, see how that just works out in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that that really pops there. Yes, oh, there we go. Look at that. And this is such an easy technique. Take you want to leave a little white. But you also want to, you know, you want to work some of that brown in there. So there's just all this different kind of flavor and color and light and and things just happening with our, our tree dant or whatever the heck he is. Tree ant. Tree ant. Yeah, okay. You do the talking. I just uh, do the painting. How's that? <laughs> it always seems to work better that way. It gets the job done. Yeah, it sure does. All right, and just this little bit there. That's all you need to do. That's all. That's all it is. It's just little itty bitty easy things to kind of. Let's not hit. All right, we want to come around his face. That's fine. All right, but I don't want to uh, hit his nose a little bit. There we go. Do what Matt, you feel like. Now learn New York. Welcome. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't have to be like a picture. You do what you see in your mind. And I see this in my mind. 
but we're not we're not even no we're not done yet folks of course time not. We got? Rob we're always doing all right we're doing all right for time you always go right. the extra mile yeah just have fun with it that's the most important thing well, there we go make sure that you just really really get that to sit up on those those mushrooms those mm -hmm. mushrooms are a great selling point on this guy and if you do it right you can really get a nice effect there we go I'm gonna just kind of watch that beard watch it watch it oh, yeah right there and we're gonna come back over here there we go yes really try to get get it to sit up on those mushrooms and some of those other areas that and you can see now all of a sudden he has this depth yeah. and there's it's, this it settles into the recesses really nice yeah that's why we went so dark and then went high over the top we wanted that gray to really set the tone yeah. <laughs> get it <laughs> um, <laughs> yes i know but no, 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 folks. Looking at it, and, and this is something that, that's unique to the the tones rather or the, the washes rather than like a contrast paint because it, it allows the highlights to stay to just barely tint that color. Mm hmm All right. So we've got the old fella here. All right. Kind of like that a little bit. I'm all right with that. And then no, we're not done, folks. We're never done. It's my old favorite. All right, let's back this, back the truck up a little bit. Okay, first thing I got to do is I got to take a sip of, uh, what do I got here? Gatorade today. Ah. Good stuff. Ah. Oh, what a good day. All right, so you know what our favorite thing to do is, well, look, we have this nice little container here. Mm -hmm. Get another piece for your... Yep, another use for it. And I got a beat up old dead brush that we're going to use yep. to move the glue around. Don't use a good brush for this, people. Yeah, because that's it. This is uh, this is where brushes go to die. This this is pretty much, or you know, go get the dollar pack from the dollar store cheapo. Brushes. Yeah, you could do that too. If you if you're just starting out, let's you know go get kids brushes, something like that. Just don't get mm -hmm. don't use good brushes for this. Now I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna give everything a little bit of time to dry here, and that's why I'm just gonna do this base mm -hmm. because we're we got a few other things that we want to do here. So I'm just gonna pour a whole bunch of glue. Is that a t is that like a, a a technical measurement there, Rob? Um, whole bunch. No, a whole bunch is just a whole bunch. I just go, whatever. I don't care. That looks beyond. No, it's That's not very good. beyond your current skills. This is super simple. Oh, come on. I, if I can do this, an old man. Peter, you can do this. You can do this, my brother. Trust and it me. Will, yeah, it'll, and follow it will the video. In. Yep. Follow the video. All will come. All will come to pass. All right. It probably, oh, in fairness, it will probably take you at least twice as long because not all of us paint a thousand figures a year. Yeah. That that's that's some. Rob's unique Skill. insanity. Well, you know the funny thing about it is, oh, and hold on, let me just show you. I'm just moving this glue around. We can like almost that. see. Oh, I'm sorry. And I just want. The glue to I do get now, that, now the figure is going everywhere. What's that? Now, now the figure is going everywhere on you. Well, that's okay. As long as everybody can see, I can do anything. The thing is, is I had that, you know, I take a look at a figure and I'm planning it for a whole week. You guys are just seeing this for the first time going, okay, what's he doing? But I've already had something in my head. You know, I take a look at things. I study it and, you know, and it's just, it's, it's fun for me to kind of try to figure this out. I go, what do I want to do this that's different than what I'm seeing on the back of the the yep. thing? Or I might see what they did and go, wow, that's really cool. I want to stick with that. All right. Let's let's do that. All right. So. Oh, that really sells it. Hold on. We're not done yet. Girl. Oh, I know you're not, but it's definitely a. Ta always take. Always we take. We haven't gone to 11 yet. 
No, no, we haven't taken it to 11 yet. Now, usually I just like keeping things nice and simple for y'all. And I do. All right, so now I'm just, you always take the handle and just kind of tap it all in there. And that's, and then just go dink, 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 dink. Get all the excess off and life's good. Now, maybe you want to glue that stone in here. Well, you could do that. Put that stone right there. There we go. It's up to you. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to do uh, this. The green powder is, is that Woodland Scenics? All that? Yep, Woodland Scenics Static Grass Flock. There you go. Very cheap. A static very cheap. grass applicator. Very cheap. Very cheap. Now I'm going to take a bunch of glue here in my, my little container here. I'm just going to put it in this recess here. Why, Rob, what do you have on mind? What is going through your sick little head now? Well, folks, let me tell you something. If you're out in the forest, you know as well as I do, by taking this little tip of this brush, okay, and just maybe just putting a little dab here, a little dab there, and then taking a little bit of this grass and putting them in here. And why can't I just do a little of that? Whoops. I stay with me, stay with me. From... On the figure too. Yeah, I gotta get it on the figure. There we go. And just put a little in there, all right? It just gives a little nice effect and doesn't doesn't hurt anything. So, you know, you kind of work your way around. Like, look, up what's in there? Okay, well, I think he's got some grass in there. Well, not grass, but maybe it's just like old. A little bit of maybe some uh, moss. Yeah, some fuzzy moss. All right. And you can kind of do that, too. But also, we have this stuff. It's called spring lichen. Okay. All right. And this stuff is really, really kind of cool because it's kind of whatever. Ooh. Now, maybe you want to do something really strange. Maybe put, see, that would be overkill in my mind. But if you wanted to, you know, you just add a little maybe somewhere. That, that would be a okay. You, I, I think, I think with this, what I wanted, I would want to do is I would want to take a little of this and put this at the base. So I'm going to paint a little of it and then just kind of stick it at the base here Ooh. a little bit. It could be interesting to, to uh, not that, but to, to kind of use that as a little bit of a beard or an inspiration for his beard too on a different yeah. figure. You got to get, get it to a certain, like right there. Oops. And this is where you kind of got to see what you want to do. You can put that there. Well, or it is a, it's a natural product, so each little bit is going to... Uh, yeah. each, each little bit's going to look just a tiny bit different, so... Yeah, so I'm going to put... I'm going to put a little by his foot. Yeah, it, it, it is not a... It is definitely, as you noted from when he put just a tiny little bit on its head... And that's not a small figure. Um, yeah, on a it's just small, overpowered it. Yeah, on a small mini, very, very sparing. Yeah, you want to be, you, you know, you could run it up his legs or something like that, or over the back. And you can see, I think on the base is just enough. So, I've already decided that. Nope. <laughs> and yeah. you know, you I use this for different things. Out almost nothing and put most of it back. Yeah, I just took like a little bit. I actually like what I was doing with. Uh, the glue is a, the clear it's Elmer, Elmer glue. PVA. It's just, yeah, it's just a, a, a clear Elmer's glue. That's all it is. So I'm going to go back to this because I think this just works a little bit better. And there we go. Maybe a little bit over here. There we go. Let's see what that does. Not bad. I like that. And you're just going to take your brush and wherever you think you want to add a little bit. Since you are using a clear glue, it does dry clear and it is a uh, water soluble. So if you stick it somewhere and you don't like it, 
you can uh, adjust. Yes, you can. On the top of this head here. The only person that's going to see that is probably me, but I'll know it's there, and that'll make me happy. And shoop, shoop. Well, it's part of the fun of being the one that's uh, creating the minis, is that you can put little things in there that only you know. Yeah. If I had a little bunny rabbit or something, stick them in there. That would be our little woodland creature. There we go. And just add, you know, what, what you think is going to help enhance this model for you. You know, maybe maybe just a little bit on his cheek there. There we go. Tap it off. Just gives him this incredible character. And there you go. Now you can keep going and add a little more green here and there and there and there. I mean, we could sit here all day and just kind of come up with what we want to do in our imaginations. And that's what this is all about, is using your imagination to just, how do you see him? Well, the old fella there, he's mossy and he's been around for a million years, maybe even a little more. Maybe he's seen things that we don't we we've, we've never dreamt of seeing. Maybe a little in his armpit. He's a little hobbit rider or a squirrel. Yeah. Uh, or just maybe he's been one of those things that has been a home for so many things. Mm -hmm. And now everything's gone and he doesn't have any purpose. Hmm. Maybe he's a sad like tree. A sad there you go. See, just just a little bit of this just really goes a long way. All right. And that's how I see my tree ant. I hope you guys like what you see. Uh, Peter, the painting actually came before he was seeing your question. Peter said, Peter says, no so no actual painting for this mini? mini? Quite a bit of painting, actually. Yeah. Were you? Uh, did you just come in, Pete? <laughs> must be running late. Yeah, it must be running late. All right, so. I'm going to put him up there for a second. We're just going to get some of this stuff out of the way. And we are actually going to come back up top. Ba, 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 ba. Dum, dum, dum. So there you go. That's how you do a tree dance. At least in my mind. Very cool. Something a little different. Yeah. That's fun. I, I enjoyed that very much. He has a totally different look from the, uh, the one yeah. from the back. Instead of, the of just painting it brown and giving it a white beard and going, yeah, here, trade it. I like no. him a lot. Yeah, we'll see what everybody thinks. You'll be able to see this on Twitter and uh, Instagram a little later on as we as we do every week. You know what the best part about all this is? Watch this. Uh, I'm all clean. <laughs> Everything's done. Cleaned if you're on up. YouTube, for the, I can't help you those are like those of you on uh, Twitch, but those of you on YouTube, if you want to see the pictures, links to Rob's Twitter uh, account are in the description, so you can click that and it'll take you there. So Peter didn't respond. Uh, I was just. I try to paint how the picture comes with the figure, but I've learned to paint a figure on what makes me happy. Good, Dennis. Okay. That's the whole point. Isn't that what it's all about? Um, okay, so that's there. That's there. Guess what? We're going to give away a gift certificate. What do you think about that? Are we really? Yes. Ooh, 53 minutes. Part. Man, we're getting good where we can keep this under an hour. I'm telling you. We, we are getting good where we can keep this under an hour. So let me just show you guys uh, one last time here. We get the tree dent. Uh, tree dent. Tree dent. Tree dent. Tree dent. Tree dent. All right, that so, thing. yeah, that dude right here, so you can get a good feel for him. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, I kind of like that. And we'll do that. Boom. How's that look? Oh, Helen? nice. Yeah. All right. Wait, so we're just fancy. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Fancy. You can see where the different, we blended the different colors in there. And we did different things. Mm -hmm. And just made it our own. There you go. 
There we go. All right. Probably could fix that beard a little bit. I don't like that beard that much. You know, you know what you can do to really bring that beard out. Um, hmm. I wonder if I should do that. No time like the present. Well, if you don't like the beard, you can actually take a nice dark wash. Um, if you want a little more detail on that that beard, let's try it because I can always paint over it. So this is, again, this is kind of those things where I just kind of split second go, huh, ah, ah, you know, something. Look at it. It would look a little cooler. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, let me just do this. Right, I'm about to give a gift certificate away. Let's see if this yeah. helps. And then all of a sudden I, I decide to go and do this. Yeah, bait and switch. Yeah, bait and switch. I just took a little new oil new oil which is a black wash or you can do use a very dark wa uh, dark tone from uh our friends and put that in there uh, kind of uh, what was that oh uh, congratulations uh, brilliant they were saying something you got a heart from rolling solo oh, yes i did good job thank you adam my good friend I miss him. I didn't get to see him this year. It's just the way the world worked. All right, so there we go. All right, so I wanted to... I like the... I, I might go over that beard a little bit more with a, li a little white, but I, 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 I think I lost some of the recess there, so now I kind of like how that looks a little bit better. So we'll let yeah. that dry out. All right, so there you go. That is the treatment. You see the mushroom work that we did there? These figures are just so. Oh, I know. Fun. I, mean, I, I know. Little details. That's you can off. Pull out. I mean, you could, you could, you totally go run down a rabbit hole on these things. Hmm. Trevin Taylor, why Newell oil over Agrath Urshid? I just, I wanted, the, I wanted the beard to be a little more a presence than than to go with a brown. All right, there we go. All right, so there we go. Sweet. I am going to do mine in a winter setting. See, I want, if I had two of them, Martha, I would have done both. And I thought, I think that would have been great to put snow all over them. Yeah, in fact, it, you even have the snow out, I see. I know. I have I have Here. the snow out. It looks like go. you, were, you were, weren't sure which way you were going to go when you first started. Yeah, I honestly didn't. I was sitting there thinking, I was like, hmm. Ah. <laughs> but that's how I am. Is the turn stifle, uh, turntable a do-it-yourself? No, it's actually my um, oh, a Tamoya uh, airbrush station. It's part of it. Huh. There you go. It works. Quite well. All works. right. So, Helen, tell them what they have All to do. Right. So, folks, this is going to be Rob's giveaway because that's our favorite part of the show. No. Um, so... You can, no matter how many places you're watching, you can enter once and only once. So for those of you watching on Twitch, BGG, wherever you happen to be, once. Uh, you're going to enter a number between 1 and 100. Only one number. If you enter more than one number, you're going to be out. Mm -hmm. So those numbers need to be placed between the start now and stop now. Numbers that are not between those two messages from Rob's Tabletop World don't count. Rob's going to roll the die. Which one's our tens digit today, Rob? Uh, let's make green the tens. Green is going to be our tens digit. So Rob's going to roll the two numbers. The closest to the number Rob rolls wins. If two of you are the same distance from the number Rob rolls, then we will have the roll off of death. At that point in time, listen, uh, pay attention to the chat. I will direct you we will get numbers from the uh the people who are rolling off and we're gonna keep going until we have one minute. all right so remember it's got to be in between be what in we're comments, going to do go. message board and there we go get those numbers in folks get them in while you can 
If you have questions, now's a good time to ask Rob. Now's also. a good time while I'm cleaning up. Rob's <laughs> cleaning up, and we it's don't have most, a, It's the best time of the world to yeah. ask. And let me see here. I don't need that. All right, because I have to clear everything off because we have football this. Oh well, no, actually tomorrow. Ooh. Tomorrow, uh, I'm looking at possibly doing, finally doing um, Project Elite since it's all painted and ready to go. Ooh. You may want to be here for that. And plus, I've got more surprises coming in each and every single day. I've got some real good things that nobody expects. You know how I like to find my hidden gems. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we, we've been doing content, that. You know, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell so that you know. Uh, Rob, what's our next model? Uh, the uh, Shambling Mound. The Shambling Mound. Oh, do I have them all here? Oh, yes, I do. Here we go. A Shambling Mound. Oh, my word. Now, they've got him as this. Uh, eh, mm. All right. Okay. Let's see what we can do with him, with the big mm. fella. Very cool. All right. So that's who we got next. He's up on deck. Uh, I may do two. Of the, I've got two of these. So uh, this one I did get to. Um, so maybe we'll do one one way and one the other way. Who knows? Cool. And then after that, uh, I forgot what I told. <laughs> I told Miniature Market, but it should be on the site very soon. So the, again, the, in, on the it's YouTube all channel, wave 12. the link is into Rob's, the page for uh, Painting with Rob is in the description. Uh, it's not updated yet, but they are on it. They are always on it best company in the world all right let's see how we're doing are, are obviously people... they give us they give you gift certificates i know they get they give you gift certificates all the time oh, every week yeah crazy of course i'll kick myself if, oh, if yeah, the he... role is three <laughs> yeah we can do better we have the technology <laughs> uh sorry same number but lag hit enter twice yeah, that's well, at least you told us. That's the most important thing. Lag, lag sometimes is a, is a deadly, deadly thing. Now I want a mounds bar. Yeah. Well, you can't paint the mounds bar unless. Well, I mean, you could. You could, but, but it ain't gonna be very tasty. Eating it afterwards. Exactly. Egg. Exactly. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Okay, that's drying pretty good. Ah. Uh, uh. Uh, I'll figure that out. That beard. By the time it gets up on uh, which we call it, it'll look a lot better. Uh, okay. What What did you use for the base color again? Uh, I used a uniform gray. Oh, gnarly sheepers creepers. I thought we got all of our tree puns out. Apparently. Okay, not. so I believe that's it, right, Miss? I think they're slowing down here, so right. call, let's get those numbers in. He's gonna let's hit call. I'm gonna turn it off in one, two, three, four, and five. All right. All right. It, folks. Drum roll. There you please. go. All right. It is the time to see who is going to win our gift certificate from the great miniature market Ooh. tens ones got it got it got it i should whoa 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 that was a little premature i should have put some maple leaves on yeah go, go leaves all right here we go hold on Let's answer this question because Peter decided to ask a question in the middle of the most important I wonder important about role. the painting of the mini. That part I could probably that part I could probably handle. Uniform, anything works. It's those crazy shades and small details that kill me. Oh, just do it. Oh, you could do it. Come on, Peter. You you could do it. We believe in you. We believe in you. Okay, back to back to the roll. <laughs> Who is the winner of our gift certificate today? There's only one way to find out. Eighty-six. 86. Seahawk. 
86. Yeah, right. what were your numbers again? Um, uh oh, Danica has an 87. Oh, Danica. Anybody closer than 87? 86. Ooh, the hero wins 85. Moondoggy 87. We got three. Roll off of death. I'm telling you. Roll right. off of death. Whew. This is scary. It's we haven't scary. had a roll off of death in a while. We haven't. Not only that, but it's a three way roll off of death. All right. The hero right. wins 85. Danica, no. can we get your number? Get us a number. All right. We'll wait and then I will. Pick another. Can this be Danica's day? Danica gives us a number. Next up, we've got the hero win. Could you give us a number? Oh, the stupid thing. I don't need notifications. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Hmm. Of course, mine wasn't my computer. Mine was my phone. Danica goes 23. She thinks I'm going to go completely right. low. And last but not least, Moondoggy. Three-way death match. Number three, three people go in. One person comes out. The hero says fifty-five. And we're waiting on we're waiting on the moon dog. Moon doggy right in the thick of it. And we have a number from Moon Doggy. All right. All right, you got it. Okay, yeah. it's delay it's delay for me. All right. Yeah. Here it, we go. Pre, just so you know, it takes a bit for it to get to the stream. All right. Yeah. We're working on it. All right, here we go. What do we got? We didn't like it. Doing it again. Well, I didn't even look. I know. Didn't feel right. 30. 37. Seven. All right. 37. I believe that's going to make it Danica, but we're going to check. Hold on. Thirty. Yep. Yep. It's so. gonna be Danica. It's gonna be Danica. She's closest. Yeah. Fourteen away, and uh, Hero wins is thirty-two away. Oh. Good try, though. Or, no. Well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I can't do math. He's eighteen away. <gasps> I called it wrong. I'm so sorry, Danica. Wait, he's 18 away and she is She is 14. 23 away. How's she 23 it's away with a 37? Good. Oh, good God. I'm going to go back to sleep. Rob is going to do math now. Okay, 23. 23. That's 7, 14. She's 14. She's 14 and Hero is 18. He is 18. I need to do spreadsheets instead of trying to do this on the fly. <laughs> Oh, that was a close one. Oh, it was. That's why Oof. I had problems. Great job. It Great is, job. It, it is, in fact, Danica. Danica yes. You have won. Congratulations. Is, Kabuki's not here. That's what that's what it is. Without that's Kabuki, problem. this is it's just not even worth doing. All right. Danica, email me, novaprime860 at hotmail.com. I will get you a thing for a, a gift certificate. Probably have it by Monday. Uh, we will, yeah, Steve's traveling today. So uh, we will get you a gift certificate and get it right to you. Just email me so I can return an email with a code, and then you can buy whatever you like in the miniature market at a, at a very big Kabuki discount. AI. That's the problem. We need the advanced Kabuki AI. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of shocked that she's not here, but uh, that's the way it goes. All right, listen, listen. We've said it all. We've done it all. We've we've painted a tree. We've given away a gift certificate. We had another great time like we do every Thursday. 
I hope you will join us next Thursday as we will be painting a shambling mound. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just looking forward to spending time with you all. Please like and subscribe wherever you are, whether you are on, follow us on Twitch, follow us on YouTube, uh, and make sure you hit the likes on YouTube. It really does help. Absolutely. Helen, say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Great to see you. <laughs> Until next time, everybody, it's your old pal, Rob. We'll see you soon.